Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use Snapchat on a PC in 2023. Of course, Snapchat is a popular social media platform known for its ephemeral in nature and engaging features. While Snapchat is primarily designed for mobile devices, there are ways to use Snapchat on your PC. In this guide, we'll walk you through the steps of use Snapchat on your PC in 2023. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section, simply type snap chat and dot com of course and hit the enter button that will normally take you to the home screen or main screen of snapchat directly so simply you can click on this login to chat and enter your snapchat credentials to sign in into your account you can use certain uh, snapchat features such as viewing sending snaps chatting with friends and exploring stories however note that some features may be limited compared to the mobile app of course, you can even go through here and click on this download option. And as you can see, you can scan this with your phone to download it on your phone again. As you can see, even if you click on download, you, you they will provide you to download it on your phone. That's all. So for you, of course, you can click on login chat and they will take or open a new tab for you. And of course, here you'll have to go and enter your credentials. So let's say, as an example, I'm just going to enter my things here. Next. So I don't know, maybe something wrong. Let me just try another email as an example. And here, let me just enter my password. Okay, let me retry it. Yeah, boom. So I'll have to go and open the Snapchat on my phone to uh, except that I am the one who are using the Snapchat on my phone. So simply um, in my phone, I'm just going to click on yes. And yeah, simple as that. So as you can see, welcome to Snapchat for web. Enjoy uh, your start here for a few pointers. Be mind of key difference. Privacy, security, and policy for web may differ. So of course, you can read this from here about how screenshots work on your browser. So of course, make sure to read those. How does the screenshots works for Snapchat web? And so you'll be aware. So once you click on get started, as you can see, you'll be able to use the Snapchat here. Of course, make sure to allow the browser to use your camera or Snapchat exactly to use your camera microphone if you want to uh, take some stories, example, if you want to. So you'll be able to do so, of course, if you allow your things. So simply, you'll have to go and allow it and even allow uh, notifications if you want to. And of course, you can click on the camera to take snaps, for example. And of course, you'll be able to send them and do kind of everything here. Of course, you can even go and click here to install the desktop app. So if you click on it, as you can see, you can click on install. And as you can see, this will kind of uh, open a snap for you here. And you will be able to use it uh, as kind of an application. So if you close it right here, it will be closed. Of course, this is the first option. There is the other option, as an example, to choose or to use an emulator or simulator on your PC. You can use uh, a lot of simulators like uh, Blue, Se Blue Six, uh, Mimo, uh, a lot of other emulators. So you can go and check whatever suits you. So there is the Android emulators. You can download and install an emulator or Android emulator on your PC. Or popular uh, emulators, or as I said, there is the Blue Stacks, Mimo, uh, Nox Player, and of course, you'll have to go and launch the emulator and set up your virtual Android device by following the on screen instructions. And then, of course, you'll have to go and open the Play Store within the emulator and search for the Snapchat, install the Snapchat app. And within the emulator, of course, you can sign into your account and start using Snapchat on your PC with full functionality. Simulator is just going to function as a phone on your PC. It's going to be pretty simple. Of course, you can even use some third-party app, uh, Snapchat apps. Like There are third-party applications available that allows you to use Snapchat on your PC. One such example is Snapscreen 
which provide the desktop inf interface for Snapchat. Of course, search for trusted third party Snapchat app for your PC and follow the instructions to download and install the application on your computer. Of course, you can launch the app and sign in for your Snapchat account to access the Snapchat feature directly from your PC. There is even the option of screen mirroring. So if you have an Android or iOS device, you can use like screen mirroring to display your mobile Snapchat interface on your PC. You can connect your mobile device and PC at the same Wi-Fi network. And on your PC, of course, you will be able to uh, research and install the screen mirroring software such as like there is the air server, a power mirror, uh, let's view and of course you'll have to launch this software on your pc and follow the instructions to establish a connection between your mobile device and pc once connected open snapchat on your mobile device and the mirror screen will be displayed on your pc allowing you to use the snapchat from your pc you can uh, even use like some snapchat spectacles uh, snapchat spectacles are sunglasses with built-in cameras that allows you to capture snaps and upload them to your Snapchat account, as an example. So you can connect your uh, spectacles uh, to your PC using uh, the provided USB cable, and you can open the Snapchat app on your PC or use the Snapchat web version to view and manage the snaps captured by the spectacle. And of course, those are the ways to uh, use Snapchat on the PC. So simply, let me just remind you of this of them. You can use it on a web browser. You can go and use this Snapchat, of course, web browser. As I said, you can use some Android emulators, like as I said, the Blue Stakes, uh, Mimo, uh, Nox Player. You can use like some third-party Snapchat apps if you want to, like Snap Screen. Uh, you can use the screen mirroring from your phone to your PC. So it's basically gonna mirror the screen of your phone on your PC. You can use like the Snapchat Spectacles, which is the final option. So for you, you can go and try them all if you want to, and then see what's best for you, what uh, works for you the best, and what works for you the best, of course, you can use it. It's not going to be like pretty hard, so ch check everything, and what says to you, use it, and you'll be good to go. So if you reach this point of this video, congratulations, like uh, while Snapchat is primarily designed for mobile devices, uh, you can still use uh, the Snapchat on your PC using various methods such as the web version, Android emulators, uh, third-party apps or screen mirroring, or even the spectacles, Snapchat spectacles. So choose the methods that works best for you and enjoy using Snapchat on your PC in 2023. Remember uh, to add here to Snapchat terms uh, of service, of course, and respect the, the privacy of others while the platform or while using the platform. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.